I'm back, everybody. Hey, happy Wednesday. Well, it's Wednesday. It's David Kirsch, and we're on honeycomb.fit. Today's workout is going to be a hit at home workout. Are you guys ready? One question to answer. Somebody asked me, why hit? Why does it burn all these calories? Why is it better than cardio? All the anaerobic exercise that you're combining as a circuit. Very little rest in between. Your heart rate is up. You're churning and burning calories. You are engaging your entire body from head to toe. Sounds pretty exciting, right? It's a very efficient way to work out. That's the key here, right? We're at home, I'm at home right now. No excuses. I don't want to get on a machine. It's not interesting to me, it really isn't. But this HIIT workout is gonna get everything fired up and I'm gonna be ready for my entire day, all my clients, my daughters, everything. Are you guys ready to go? I know you are. I'm gonna turn comments off. Solomon, get ready to churn, burn, and sweat, my friend. Comments are off. I'll turn them back on a little bit later. All right, so as a warm up, and just know one thing, guys, I am the guinea pig, right? So anything that I'm showing you, I've already done. I did this yesterday, I did it with some clients yesterday, and I love the results. This is one of the simple push up mountain climber series. Very great. Starting with 10 push ups. 10 push ups. Two mountain climbers, nine push ups, four mountain climbers, and all the way down until you got one push up and 20 mountain climbers, cross body mountain climbers. There's no rest in between. Make a little shake and that's it. Let's do it. All right, your push ups can be on your knees or on your toes. I'm going hardcore today. It's going to be on my toes. No excuses. If you got to be on your knees, keep your core engaged. Great engage, everything going. Hands right under my shoulders. And starting at now 10. Eight, nine, 10. Shake it, nine. Shake it up. Remember, keep your core engaged. If you need to drop your knees, do it. We're going to eight. Hey Susan and Turtle, 
try doing this before you get out of the Peloton bike today. No rushing any repetitions here. Everyone connecting. Every repetition connecting my mind and my body. I'm working my chest, my upper back, my triceps, my core, my glutes, because I'm engaging my glutes too. Remember that. Head to toe. One, two, three, four. I may have repeated four twice, but I'm all good. Right down, no rest. And I'm going to count my leg up this time. Get my lower abs a little more. Three. Two, one. Okay. Two. I have my left leg extended now. One. Two. Last one, and this is just a warm up for two more series of hit training. I hope you're awake now, guys. Last one. I'm actually making two because I want to do Spider Man. We'll go down. One. A little bonus there. One, two, three, five, six, eight, nine, two, three. Take a quick second, okay? Because when I get going, there's going to be very little rest. Huh! Okay, deep breath in. Getting that good oxygen out. Exhale anything negative. It's been crazy. Quarantine, everything, right? But one thing we have control over, I've said it time and time and time and time again. We have control of our mind, our bodies, our souls. We've got to stay connected. We've got to stay positive, right? There's a brighter tomorrow, there's a, there's a happier future, but we've got to control what we can control. Be kind, be safe, and do all those things. And get your sweat on. All right, I said two series now in this HIIT workout. We're gonna do three exercises, 20 seconds for each exercise. So, one of the questions I had was, hopefully you're having a little hydration now because there'll be little rest, if any, once we start. Um, do I need to do a complete rest or can I keep on moving my body? Well, I'm gonna answer it by showing you in a little bit. I'm gonna keep on moving my body. I like to do that. So is it the same level of intensity? No, I dial it down a little bit and then I pick it back up. The beauty of HIIT training short bursts of intensive exercise followed by a ease down or a bit of a rest and then you go right back to it all right i'm going to turn the music back on i'm going to turn it up and for this series we're going to do weighted goblet squats burpees and core work sit-ups. We'll mix it up. We're gonna repeat these three eight sets. Eight sets. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're modified, repeating the circuit of three eight times. All right, here we go. Weights in my heels, goblet squat, my core is engaged. I have these feet going, I have little taps. Let me tell you 
tell you something. Move. Burpees. I'm not playing. A little happy feet here. Keeping it moving. Alright, we got some sit-ups. I'm gonna do some regular, regular sit-ups right now. Arms up, reaching up. I like this music today, it's working for me. Thirty seconds rest now, but no rest will keep my body moving. Get ready. I'm gonna go deeper now. Weight is in my heels, my brain right here. Oh, core is tight. Get set, sitting back in your heels, catching my breath, and down. Remember, my happy feet, happy feet. Oh, getting ready for burpees, burpees. Music is going wonky, but I'm not stopping. I'll be back. All right, for this one, oblique crunches, coming right up. Left elbow to right knee, reaching out from my shoulders, not straining my neck. Set number two. Let's see what's going on with the music here. Tell me why, why oh why. There. All right, I've got 25 seconds left in my rest. So, we know why we're doing it. We feel good. Look at this, I'm feeling pumped. And all I've done are push-ups, mountain climbers, three sets, goblet squats, actually two sets. I got another one, third coming up right now. Everything is going, my heart rate is going. And I feel amazing, 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 amazing. Okay, set number three. I'm gonna prepare myself. Arms are away from my body, really engaging my core. Five, four, three. Here we go. Core tight, sitting back, going down deeper, really engaging the glutes. If you need to modify it, modify it. You don't want to hold the weight, you don't need a weight. Five seconds. Okay. All right, here we go, right here. Reverse crunches, hips up, nice and tight. Lower abs.
five to go. Take it a quick second. Think about what we're doing. Think about what you want to achieve, right? Water's so good, man. Please don't walk through the motions. Make every repetition, every repetition count. Got it? Here we go. Number four. Get my arms going too. My hips. Yeah. 
Seconds rest, so I want to keep my body moving. Turn this on real fast. We're gonna see what's going on here. Well, I'm gonna turn it off. I don't want to take any more rest. We have, I think we have two more sets, right? I think so. I hope I'm not doing the next one, but if I am, I can. Hit training is about leaving it all on the floor. Get your life down. Good. You're doing it correctly. save any. Leave it all out there. I've got Right. 
So, my count, we got one more here. One more. And I'm gonna mix it up.
look, the beauty of this workout, you can change it up as you need to change it up. And raise the level of difficulty. So instead of my goblet squats, I added goblet alternate reverse lunges with a torso rotation. Felt amazing. I added some decline push ups. The last set on a medicine ball, not to show off, but to show you that I want to keep on pushing and striving to break past any of those self perceived barriers. Most of the time, it's not physical, most of the time, it's up here. And I know that if you set your mind to it, you can accomplish amazing things. Mind and body, so important. This was my hit at home workout. I'm David Kirsch on honeycomb.fit. I'm proud to be here. I'm also over there on David Kirsch. So any of you that were there, come over to honeycomb.fit tomorrow. See what we got, right? It's an amazing site with great trainers. Coming up next this morning, we got the great Mark Messier going up against Stacy Griffin. My money's on somebody, I'm not gonna tell you who, but it's gonna be an awesome, inspiring workout. And then I think Tracy's up today also, if not, she's here tomorrow. Um, have an amazing day. Be fit, be safe, stay calm. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have an awesome day, guys. Thanks for tuning in.